mirror a sculpt layer on a asymmetrical model. So here we have an example of an asymmetrical model. We have one of our models, our mesh models, but it's been posed. I know we haven't got to posing, but if you got there and it's posed, that means that the left side is not the same as the right side anymore. So it's asymmetrical. So what we have to do is we have to go and set a topological axis. So this is a different uh, video. Uh, but what we want to do is, first of all, we want to step down. So we're going to step down, down to zero. So we're going to do a step level downs. And so we're on active zero. Next, we are going to select two adjacent faces on each side of the topological axis. So I'm going to zoom in on his face. And I'm going to come over here and select and move. I'm going to pick on face. And I'm going to pick, here's the center line right here. I'm going to pick one on each side of the center line. To pick uh, one single uh, face, I'm going to do a shift S. Notice how I pick that one. I'm going to move over to the next one. I'm going to do a shift S. And now I've selected uh, two adjacent faces that are on either side of the symmetrical line or center line. Now, what I want to do is I need to go and set the topological axis. I'm going to do that by going up to my edit menu and come down and say set the topological axis. It says symmetry initialized. Okay, so we only have to do this once. Now, what I can do is I can come back here and I can get rid of that selection. So I'm going to uh, deselect all. And now I come in here and let's say I can sculpt. Okay, so let me just make a bump on here a little bit. Maybe not so big, right? Make a little bump here. Uh, let me get my arm down here. So let's, let's do a little sculpting here. All right. And at this point, I want to step a level back up, step a level up, right? So you can see I have kind of done a little bump here just to put something in there, right? Now, now here's the time we can go and uh, sculpt on half the model. And now we want to go and mirror this object. So I go up here and right click and say I want to mirror the layer. It said mirror the layer, and it says select the faces on the source side first. So I forgot to select the part I want to mirror. So that's okay. I'm going to come down and select tools. I'm going to select faces. I can either do it by rectangular, I can do a lasso, or I can paint it. Uh, I'm just going to pick it with a rectangle area and say I want to get that area right there mirrored. And then be careful not to go across the center line. Right? And now, I right click, I come over and say mirror layer, and boom, I can mirror that layer. I come up and I deselect all, and now I've mirrored across from one side to the other. And uh, so I can mirror uh, an asymmetrical model, uh, meaning its arm was up. Uh, and I can go in and say, oh, I want that thing to be the same as the other side. And I can do that. I can't do it otherwise. I have to set that uh, topological axis in order to mirror that layer, that sculpt layer, if it's asymmetrical.